good looking. I am PJ from Fitness with PJ, your tough love trainer for the not so tough. Today's workout is a no gym required body weight blitz. It is awesome. All right, I've been teaching this to my classes for a while now and they love it. In fact, they demanded that I put this up on YouTube. In particular, Sandy. So Sandy, this workout's for you, baby. You're gonna require nothing except maybe a mat if you're on a hard surface and maybe a towel to wipe the sweat off, but we are gonna get busy right away. Workout's gonna focus a lot on legs and core. And as always, I am gonna show modification, so modifications so that no matter where you are at in your fitness journey, you will feel successful. I leave no woman behind, all right? So this isn't one of those crazy YouTube workouts where only the fit and the strongest survive. This is for you instead who want a good workout but can be modified so that you feel successful at the end. Now let's get busy. Here we go. We're going to start with feet apart, core engaged, all right? So draw that belly button in as if somebody was coming forward to sucker punch you and you're bracing for that impact. Beautiful. All right, now give me some big arm circles. Make them nice and big. So here's the scoop. We have four rounds of moves. The first time we do them, we do them for 60 seconds. Then we get a water break. Then we do them for 45, water break, 30, and then 20. So it gets progressively easy. Easier. <laughs> now with arms straight, open and close the chest. Now when we get to the 30 and 20 second mark, I will be switching the moves up a little bit, but I'll talk you through it. Don't worry, we're doing it together. Last three, two, and one. Now reach the arms out for me, palms down, feet underneath the hips, and give me a squat and a heel lift. Great job, do it again. Squat, heel lift. Awesome, push your bum back, knees are tracking straight ahead, and arms are staying elevated and at shoulder height the entire time. Last three, two, one. Now take that right leg, step it behind you while you reach away from that leg, feet together, do it again. Lengthening and warming up the hip flexor and quad. Last three. Last one. Beautiful, other side, ready? Hup. Lean away, that's important. You wanna feel a nice length and hip flexor there. Two more. Last one. Beautiful, all right, come on down on the knees for some push-ups to warm up the upper body. Arms out wide, fingers wide, ready, drop down, press up. You come down as low as you can. We're just doing eight. We're just getting warmed up here. Four more. Last one. Beautiful. Let's get the glutes and the low back warmed up on your back. Feet hip width apart. Drive the hips up as high as you can and release. Do it again. Drive, release. You want to feel the glutes working, hamstrings, all that posture, your chain. We're getting it ready for our workout. Last four. One more. Beautiful. Roll up into a standing position. Last thing we need to warm up is the lateral side of the body. and It's also going to be a preview of one of the moves we're doing later on. Step out with the right and then hand down. Good job. Now the other side. Hand down. Excellent. So stepping out laterally, pushing the hips rear, hinging through that hip joint, keeping everything safe so that you don't hurt yourself and you can keep exercising. We're here to train smart. So just a heads up, if you've got music, blast it, all right? I can't play music, copyright laws, YouTube will shut me down. But if you've got it on your end, highly recommend it. It's a super motivating thing when it comes to working out. One more each side. Woo, all right. Here we go, you ready? So our first exercise is a football knee drill. And it basically looks like this. You go one, two, three, knee. So it's a little shuffle, shuffle, and a knee up. We've got one minute. 
Ready? Ready? Good. And let's go. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Now, if this is not going to work for you, march on the spot, but march big and high, okay? Otherwise, it's one, two, three, so it's shuffle, shuffle, huh, it's shuffle, shuffle. We're going into a T push up for our next exercise. One, two, three, one, two, three. Allow the arms to help you out. Pump them, baby, pump them. If you're getting tired, oh my god, buck up, buttercup, we just started. Getting there. And the timer goes as much as a mystery to me as it is to you. Alright, T push up. So push up and you're gonna rotate in the T position. You can also do it modified. So, real time, push up looks like this. Push up, and then you rotate onto each heel. Modify, go from the knees, and then rotate on that bottom knee. You choose, let's begin. With your push up, keep it strong. Heads looking up. While you rotate in that T, try to have that wrist under the shoulder. You're rotating onto both heels. Coming up for a lunge pattern when the timer goes. Four, three, two, one. 
Come on up. Let's do that again. Ready? Down. Step or jump back. And then jack out the legs. So modify real easy. Here we go. Step out. And now you're going to tap out. And then you're going to step in. Yes? Yes. Wrist under the shoulders. Core engaged. Bum down. Because you know what? If we're going to do it, let's do it right. My pants keep falling down. <laughs> Just had to share. Top. All right. Squat, pulse. They do. This drive me nuts. Squat, pulse with a squat jump or a heel lift. So come down with me, okay, in a squat. Ready? We're all there? Good. Now pulse it for five, four, three, two, one. Now jump squat. Good. Or jump heel lift. Let's do that again. Five, four, three, two, one. Jump squat or lift up off your heels. Again, five, four, three, two, one. Hup. Five, four, three, two, one, up, five, four, three, two, one, up, five, four, three, two, one, again, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, mountain climbers for one minute. Or they're also known as broiders. But I just don't like saying that word. I think it sounds rude. So, mountain climbers. Wrists under the shoulders. And I want you to step as far towards that hand as you can. Feet together, the other side. Now, I get that this is intense. So if that's not going to work for you, please drop on your forearms and go back to that alternating tap out and taking a knee whenever you need to. You need to spice it up and ramp it up. Hey, get your ass moving. That's how you see change, pressing through that envelope of comfort and going into uncomfortable. said a swear word. Sorry. Should probably have a over 14 only viewing list. Last one, release. Just before you start the video. Oh, all right, so other leg. Find your balance. Best way to do that actually is focus your stare on something stationary. And now bend and try to get the hands Come to the inside and outside of the calf. Knees trapping straight ahead. If you're finding this hard, man, you'll get better. Don't worry. If you're finding your knees kind of going all over the place, try to clean it up a bit so it goes straight ahead. I'm in one of my favorite pairs of shoes, Nike Freeze, but they have absolutely no lateral support. 
So it's almost like I'm doing this bare feet. That makes it even more challenging. Now we have one more exercise before water. I saved the best for last. We have side to side lunges like we did in warm up and then we're gonna add a burpee with a push up. Whoa baby. This is what separates the girls from the women. And we're ready. Time. All right, we're gonna do it together. We're gonna do that step outside lunge we did in warm up. Let's start with the right leg, all right? You're gonna step out and then step out with the other leg. Ready, step out, fingers to the ground, feet together, step out the other way. Good, now hands down on the ground. Give me a push up from the knees or toes and then jump or step the feet back. And that's the move. Step, step, push up. Step, step, push up. We have three-way lunge coming up next. Time. All right. Starting with that right leg, lunging forward, side, and back. What do you do with your hands? Well, let's place them on the hips. Ready? Go. Forward. Now take it out to your side. Awesome. Behind now. Again, you go down as low as your knees are going to let you. Lunges can sometimes be aggravating to the knees, so I want you to play it safe. Work within what feels good. How's that posture? Yeah, I just thought I'd ask.
Let's get it one more, one more. Sweet, we got the cycle in. All right, other leg. Forward first, side, and reverse. Ready, go. So we have squat thrust and five plank jacks coming up next. Modified plank jack, you're gonna tap out four times. So one, two, three, four. See, I'm like the Starbucks of fitness. You can order up whatever you want. Grande, non-fat, half whip, no foam. Let's finish this one. Sweet, good job. All right, so squat thrust, five jacks. I'm gonna turn around so you can view it better. Ready? Down. Now, five, four, three, two, one. You want a little bit more? Jump up when you come up. Jump up. Those hips low. Finish it. Awesome job. Okay, five pulse squats and a squat jump or squat heel lift, okay? Let's try it. Five, four, three, two, one. Pop it. Again, five, three, two, one. Lift up off your heels. Five, four, three, Two, one, hook. Five, four, three, two, one, hook. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Five, thighs burning yet? Good. I'd hate to be alone on the journey. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Yeah, that didn't come soon enough. Okay, mountain climbers, or on your forearms and tap out from a plank. So here's your mountain climber right here. Modified, forearms, tap out. Let's get going. Beep, 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 beep. That's my favorite sound. All right, one-legged squat. I suggest you start with your non-dominant leg. Ready? And begin. And that first set we did, should have shown you right away which side is your non-dominant. Again, even if it's just a slight knee bend, I'd rather you do that and keep the leg up than have to get deeper and kickstand. There'll be some workouts where I do ask you to kick down to get deeper. This particular drill though, I want to work with the little stabilizers in the knee and especially ankle too. I'm not just giving you random exercises just to get you to sweat and make you curse me. There's a whole method around the programming. I want to get you functional, fit, and looking good. Release. Other leg. Okay, we just got one more exercise and begin. One more exercise, we get another little 20 second water break and then we're gonna knock the time down to 30 seconds. Keep the chest lifted. Super easy to get sloppy on this move. 
So if you can do it by a mirror to watch your form, go for it. We have that special little burpee drill coming up.
two plank jacks, so just two jumps out and in, okay? So it's jump, and then one, two, do it again, jump, one, two, Keep the hips low, wrists over the shoulders, or under the shoulders, you know what I mean. <laughs> awesome. All right, we're gonna split the next move up. This round we're gonna do squat, <sighs> squat pulse, next round we'll do jumps, okay? So drop down and just pulse it. So just stay down, stay down, oh yeah. Quadriceps burning. Good sign. I love the smell of burning muscle. <sighs> Going into mountain climbing next. That stays the same this round. How's that spine? Still nice and long? Okay. It's like you're going to sit in a chair. Whew. And release. All right, mountain climbers, stepping out wide or on the forearms and tapping out for modify. Here we go. Wrist under the shoulders. And begin. Let's start there, 30 seconds. See if you can work the weeble wobbles out. Fire up the muscles in the hips, start out with. That's actually where all the magic begins with knee tracking and then down the thigh. As you come up, press through the heel, engage that glute. Time, other side. Hey, if you like these workouts, subscribe to my channel. It'll be somewhere around here at this workout if you just click subscribe. That way, whenever I release something, hey, I'll be in your inbox right away. And don't forget, you can find me as well on the old website, fitnesswithpj.com. exercise. The next one's the side to side burpee drill. We're just doing side to side lunges for 30 seconds. We're going to save the burpee drill for the 20 seconds. Let's give it a try. Step out to the side, then the other side. Good. See if you can get that opposite hand to come down and reach towards the front of the toe there. But again, you're getting down there by the grace of your legs and glutes, not by your back. One more so we even up. Release. All right, you get that 20 second water break and then we're gonna do the last round. We'll see you in a bit. All right, here we go, last round, last set, best set, one of my favorite trainers says, Dr. Todd Durkin. So, what we're gonna do here is drop the timer down to 20 seconds. Yes, awesome. However, we are switching up the moves so that there's, um, they can stay as intense as they have been with that decreased time period. So the first one we're still doing is those fast knee drives, 20 seconds. Your T push-ups, however, we're getting rid of the T part and you're just gonna give me straight on push-ups, baby. Ready, set? Let's go. Drive the knees. Lean back. Pump the arms. 
Remember, you can march too. the knees or the toes. Your choice, just keep them good looking. Just like you. And go. Down. Press. So slow it down a bit. Actually, I'm going on my knees to keep it really crisp. Starting to lose form. Not worth it. There is no ego in my workouts, all right? You leave that at the door. That'll just get you trained and sloppy. Release. All right, three-way lunge is going to change up. All right, you're going to get down into a lunge and then we're going to drive the knee up. So get down to the lunge, come down, now drive the knee up. You can add the hop or not, up to you. Use the arms. Other leg. In the lunge position to begin with, we go down first and then drive up. Ready? And down. Tortured for the last 30 minutes. So, 
Grab a sip if you need it. I'm sure you do. But while you're doing that, I want you to bring your heel up towards your bum and stretch out the quad, okay? Knee and hip lined up and then squeeze the bum forward. <sighs> Let the heart rate come down. Don't sit yet, all right? Let's everything cool down before we sit. Now take this like a good stride behind the body. Heel on the ground. Lunge into it, so you're feeling the stretch in the lower leg. Fingers are light behind the ears, and now lean back a bit. It's stretching out into the chest. So you want to feel this in the calf and that back leg, and then across the front of the body for all those push-ups we did. Release, other heel up. If you want more stretches, I do have them on the channel, and I will be releasing more stretches as well. I find as we get older, we need to really maintain the flexibility. It's harder to keep it up. So it's almost a regular thing you've got to do with stretches. Step back, heel on the ground, legs straight. Beautiful. Now bring the arms out in front and round the shoulders forward, stretching the upper back. Release. All right, take one leg. Toe up, it's slightly ahead of your body. Push your bum rear while your chest comes down. We're lengthening the hamstring there. Ah, you know, thank you so much for doing my workout video. There are like a gazillion workout videos on YouTube, and you chose mine, so thanks a lot. Thanks for your energy, I hope to see you back. And again, comment below, what rock star would you like to be? It'd be a fun little thing to find out. Release, other leg. Push your hips rear, lean forward. And release. Congratulations. Thank you again. And until next time, go forth and be fit.